ignition and liftoff. Liftoff of STS-7. Robert Crippen was born on September 11th in Beaumont, Texas. Mr. Potter was his family when he was five years old. Mr. Crippen graduated from New Caney High School in 1955. His graduating class had 19 students. He was one. Mr. Ukaney High School. In 1960s, Mr. Crippen received a Bachelor of Science degree in Aerospace Engineering from the University of Texas. After college, he served in the U.S. Navy. From 1960 until 1962, he was trained to be a Navy pilot. Following his training, Captain Crippen was an attack pilot on, on the USS Independence from 1962 until 1965. From 1964 until 1965, he was a test pilot at Edwards Air Force Base in California. In 1966, he became an instructor for other test pilots at Edwards. For the next three years, from 1966 until 1969, Captain Kirpin was an aerospace research pilot in the Air Force Manor Refining Lab program. In 1969, he was selected for that NASA astronaut program at Johnson Space Center of Houston. From 1969 to 1984, Captain Crippen went into space on four shuttle missions. He was a he was a commander on his last three missions, which meant he piloted the space shuttles. His first space mission was mission was in April 1981. It was Space Transportation System One. He and Commander John Young made the first orbital test flight on the space shuttle Columbia, which lasted about two and a half days. Their mission was to test the shuttle system in launch, orbital, and landing. This mission was also the first to launch with wings, using solid rocket boosters, and the first to return to a runway landing at Edwards Air Force Base in Three, California. Two, one, down. In June 1983, Commander Crippen's second space flight was STS-7 on the Challenger space shuttle. The six-day mission had a crew of five, which included Sally Ride, the first American woman to, to fly in space. Their mission was to deploy several satellites into orbit. In April 1984, Commander Crippen completed his third space flight. The crew of five spent seven days on the Challenger space shuttle. The mission of STS-41C was to retrieve a satellite, repair it aboard the spaceship, and then deploy it back into space. Six months later, Commander Crippen completed his final mission in space in October 1984. The crew of seven spent eight days in space. The mission of STS-41G with satellite deployment and radar imaging. From 1986 until 1989, Captain Crippen was the Deputy Director of Shuttle Operations for NASA Headquarters at the Kennedy Space Center. He served as the Director of the Space Shuttle at NASA Headquarters in Washington, D.C. from 1990 until 1992. From 1992 until 1995, Captain Crippen was the Director of the Kennedy Space Center. He retired from NASA in 1995. Captain Crippen has logged over 565 hours in space, orbited the Earth 374 times, and traveled over 9.4 million miles in space. After serving in the space industry for over 35 years, Captain Crippen has won many awards. He also received NASA's highest honor when he received the Congressional Space Medal of Honor in 2006. When he was presented with the medal, NASA Administrator Michael Griffin said, this medal awarded by the Congress of the United States commemorates publicly what all of us who know Bob Crippen already understood. He is an authentic American hero.